Rising tensions in the Middle East have led the United States to take decisive action. On the night of November 10 to 11, 2024, U.S. combat aircraft, including the advanced F 35C Lightning II jets from the U.S. Marine Corps, carried out targeted strikes against military infrastructure controlled by Iran backed Houthi rebels. This mission, led by U.S. Central Command, marked the first time F 35C jets were used in combat operations, launching from a USS Abraham Lincoln. The strikes focused on weapon storage facilities in Houthi controlled territories which reportedly housed advanced arms used to attack both military and civilian vessels in the Red Sea and Gulf of Aden. Pentagon spokesperson General Pat Ryder explained that these actions were a direct response to recent Houthi assaults on American, commercial, and allied ships. Ryder emphasized that the U.S. would continue applying pressure on the Houthis to prevent future threats and secure the region. The F-35C, part of Marine Fighter Attack Squadron 314, known as the Black Knights, has been on board the USS Abraham Lincoln since 2022 as part of Carrier Strike Group 3. This operation marked a historic moment for the F-35C, which first became operational in 2019 and had its initial deployment in 2021. Unlike its predecessors, the F-35A and F-35B, which saw combat in Afghanistan and Iraq in 2018 and 2019, this mission was the F-35C's first real test in an active conflict zone. Known for its stealth capabilities and advanced technology, the F-35C boasts the Inslash APG-81 ASA radar, which allows for precise detection and tracking, the Inslash ASQ-239 Barracuda Electronic Warfare System for defense against electronic threats, and the Inslash AQ-40 EOTS for precision targeting. These features, combined with sophisticated sensor fusion, grant pilots unparalleled situational awareness. Supporting the F-35C in this mission were F divided by minus 18 F Super Hornets and EA-18G Growler Electronic Warfare Aircraft, all operating from a USS Abraham Lincoln. Initially, the strikes were reported as a U.S. Navy operation, but it was later confirmed that the F-35C jets belonged to the Marine Corps' VMFA-314 Squadron, highlighting the integrated approach of U.S. forces in the region. In retaliation, the Houthis launched a major offensive on November 11. The Arleigh Burke-class destroyers USS Stockdale and USS Spruance, positioned in the Bab el-Mandeb Strait, were targeted by eight kamikaze drones, five anti-ship ballistic missiles, and three anti-ship cruise missiles. Despite the scale of the attack, U.S. defense systems intercepted all incoming threats, ensuring no damage or casualties occurred. The Houthis' growing military capabilities, bolstered by Iranian arms and technology transfers, have become a source of global concern. A recent UN report indicated that Iranian support has significantly strengthened the Houthis, equipping them with weapons and technology that far exceed those of a typical armed group. There are also indications that Russia may be contributing intelligence and advanced anti-ship missiles to the Houthis. These recent US strikes and subsequent interceptions underline the increasingly complex security situation in the Gulf of Aden and the Red Sea. The deployment of F-35C jets in this mission marks a strategic evolution in the US military's presence showcasing the ability to address sophisticated and multifaceted threats posed by Iran-backed forces. This operation sends a clear message. The U.S. is prepared to defend critical maritime routes and maintain regional stability amid rising challenges.